in this video we will discuss how we can plot 1d uh, functions in python in the next video we will discuss how we can plot 2d 3d functions surface plots uh, in the next video in this video our target is to uh, uh, define a function in 1d and then plot it and also we will discuss how we can uh, plot several subplots in a single plot so let's start this video so before starting the plotting of a function we need to import certain libraries and these libraries will be helpful for plotting the function and also for several calculations also to calculate the values of a function so these are the two important libraries so first library is to import the matplotlib this matplotlib library is used to plot the function and the next library that we will use for mathematical calculations is numpy so import numpy as np so i am importing numpy library as np here and also i am importing matplotlib library as a plt here so now we have imported the libraries next task is to define your x axis so we will define the values of x axis using a function called lin space this lin space function uh, takes three input values the first value is the starting point and the last uh, second value is the ending point and third value is the number of points so suppose our x axis starts from minus 2 pi to 2 pi and we require 100 number of points in between the two so we will define the x as np dot lin space minus 2 dot np dot pi comma 2 dot np dot pi so you are here using the pi function from the numpy library and you are multiplying this with a minus 2 so it will be minus 2 pi similarly here you are multiplying this with a 2 so it will be 2 pi so your starting point is minus 2 pi and your ending point is 2 pi and you require 100 number of total points so through this statement we now have the values of x in the variable capital x now we will suppose we wish to plot these five fun uh, six functions one is sin of x, cos of x, exponential x, then hyperbolic x, x square and x cube. So to find the values of this function, we will again use the numpy library and using this library, we can define np dot sine. So it will calculate the sine values of x and these values are stored in the variable y1. Then again, np dot cos and cosine values are stored in y2. Then exponential function values are stored in y3. Then hyperbolic Polic function you are using and you are storing the values in y4 then if you wish to find x square of, a fun of variables so your array is x containing values from minus 2 pi to 2 pi and you wish to calculate x square it means you wish to multiply each value with its own value or you wish to square each individual values you wish to multiply a single array with a different array element wise to multiply two arrays element wise we use, we use a function called multiply. So this np dot multiply function will multiply x and x. You will have an x square value and you are storing these values in y5. For xq calculation, you need to multiply x with x square. So here you have already calculated x square, that is y5. And now you are you multiplying this x square with x. You are again using the multiply function. So with this, we have all the six functions stored in different variables like y1, y2, y3, y4, y5, and y6. Now we will see how we can plot these functions. So for plotting, we will use the uh, matplotlib library and we are using this library as a variable plt. So this plt will be used now. So to plot this function, I am writing plt.plot. So this is the plot command of plt that we are using. So you will here write the x variable here you will write the y variable and this is the coloring function so uh, if you wish to draw this graph in red color you are using r if you wish to draw it blue color then use b g for green k for black and so on so i am drawing this in the red color so it will plot sign of uh, x here so you can see the plot here now if you wish to level the graph means you wish to level x axis and y axis then you will use two different functions of plt that is plt.x level and plt.y level so this plt.x level 
uh, using this function, you can give the level to x axis. And using this y level function, you can give the level to y axis. So now you have a x level and y level. And if you wish to give the title to this function plot, you will give use the uh, title command. So it will be plt dot title. And yet now you can give title here. So I'm giving the title sine wave. If you wish to draw horizontal and vertical lines, x-axis and y-axis lines, then you can use the PLT command AX horizontal line, AX vertical line. So this AX horizontal line requires the value of Y, means at which value of Y you are drawing the horizontal line. If you are drawing the x-axis, then the horizontal line will start at Y equals to zero. So you are giving this Y equals to zero here. Similarly, for vertical line, you will put x equals to zero, means at x equal to zero, there will be a vertical line. Color I am giving, so I am giving a color K, it means this horizontal line will be of black color. Line style I am giving double dash, dash, dash. It means you will have this dash, dash line, you will have dash line here. Line width I am giving one, it means we, the thickness of the line will be one. And similarly, I am do, doing the same for the vertical line. So using these two commands, you will have a horizontal and a vertical line. So these are the uh, functions to plot uh, different segments of the line. If you wish to give lesion to the function, means if you wish to give that this red color indicate a sine function, then if you are plotting different function in the same graph, you will use lesion. We will discuss this also. Then if you uh, want to show this function, you will just say, plt dot so now your plot will be shown to you so this was the sinusoidal function if you wish to draw cosine function just put y2 here suppose uh, this is y1 suppose you wish to y2, uh, plot y2 in the green color so command this and just start this function now if you run this command so the y2 will be plotted that is the cosine function and that will be in the green color just wait, it is loading. Yeah. So this is a cosine function in the green color. Now again, if you wish to plot, suppose you wish to plot uh, 10 hyperbolic function, that is y4, and you want to plot this in blue color. So let's plot this. You will use plt.plot x values, then y value, that is y4, and the color. Color you wish to give, suppose blue. And let's run this card. So you can see that now the plot is in blue color and is a, it is tan hyperbolic function that is going to one when x is reaching to infinity and going to minus one when x is reaching to negative of infinity. Okay, this was the case where we are plotting a single function in a graph. If you wish to draw more than one functions in a single graph, what you will do? You will simply use this plt command multiple times. Suppose you wish to draw these three functions uh sine sine of x cosine of x suppose let's draw sine and cosine of x in the same graph so the, this plt x comma y1 will plot sine of x x comma y2 will plot cosine of x and you are plotting these in the different color that is red and green so using the same plot command two times you will have two graphs in the same frame that's so Also, the graph will be uh, for sine in the red color. This red color indicates the sinusoidal function, and this green color indicates the cosine function. And now, if you wish to give the lesion, means if you want to say that in the graph that this red line is for sinusoidal function, this green line is for uh, cosine function, then you will use a lesion function. So, this plt.lesion will be used here now, and you are giving two lesions that is sine of x. So the first plot that you are drawing will be automatically for the first legend and the second plot that you are drawing will be for the second legend. So the first legend you are giving sine of x and the second legend you are giving cos of x. So you will see by adding the legend, the graph will look somewhat like this. So this is the same graph, but now you have a legend here 
uh, drawn here that is the red in sin of x blue, uh, green uh, blue, green in uh, cosine of x you can also draw the third function that is the tan hyperbolic function here we will just uh, draw it here and now you have a third legend also you can add legend here in the third legend is tan hyperbolic and now you can draw this so here you are having three legends that is the sin of x in the red color the cosine of x in the green color and the tan hyperbolic x in the blue color so this was all to draw a graph in a single frame means you are not using different subplots you are just using the same plot and drawing multiple functions we have drawn three functions here sin cos and tan hyperbolic x now if you want to draw these all functions in the same graph but different subplots as a different subplots then we will use the subplot command so let's discuss subplot command now so the same libraries will be used here x values will again be same we are using the line space function for x values and the function definition is again the same now what we have to do we have to use subplot command so i am defining the figure is 1 i am using a single figure and now this is the command for subplot that is i am writing suppose 3 to 1 so this 3 to 1 indicates that there will be three rows this first entry indicates the number of rows so there will be three rows and the second row and the second entry indicates the number of columns there will be two columns and this third entry will identify the graph so in this graph you can see that there are three rows and there are only two columns and this particular will be the first graph this will be the second third fourth fifth and sixth graph in this way the graphs will be numbered and this first two entries will define the number of rows and number of columns being used in the subplot frame so suppose the first graph you want to draw is a sinusoidal function you, so you will use x y1 then for the second graph you will use 3 2 1 2 3 2 3 3 2 4, 3, 2, 4 like that and all the subplots you can draw here so when you run this command you will see that the all these functions the first will be sinusoidal function second will be the cosine function third will be the exponential function fourth will be the tan hyperbolic function fifth will be the x square tan x cube all the plots will be drawn here if you want to change the number of rows and number of columns suppose here you are having num three rows and two columns and you want to draw this in a two row and three columns six graphs can be drawn in two, in two rows and three columns and also in three rows and one column uh, two column so let's change the number of rows and number of columns so i am putting two row three column here so now we have changed the number of rows and number of columns let's run this wait a second so now the same functions has been drawn using two row and three columns so this was the case of plotting the sub uh, subplots in different uh, framework like drawing in the two row two column or two row three column like that if you want only four plots then what you will do you just simply change number of rows and number of columns so you will now require for plotting four functions you will require two rows and two columns so you will put two here for everything and now you can not draw the last two functions so you can command these functions let's see <laughs> now these four functions will be plotted and now you can see that there are two rows and two columns in the first 
graph is for the sinusoidal function second graph is for the cosine function third is for the exponential function and fourth is for the tan hyperbolic function so like that you can draw any number of subplots in a single frame so this was all for 1d plots in which we have discussed how we can define the x axis y axis level title and now how can we draw the subplots in the next video we will discuss how we can draw the 2d plots 3d plots uh, color plots and also we will discuss how we can draw the contours so this will be the next topic in our video if you like this video please like this so please subscribe to our channel and if you have any comments you can comment those uh, your doubts in the comment section thank you